And the infectious laugh and the cheeky sense of humour of TV presenter Keith Chegwin were remembered fondly today after his death at the age of 60. He first became a household name in the 1970s, starring in children's TV show Swap Shop and later Saturday Superstore. One of his co-stars, Mike Reed, told ITV News he was showbiz through and through and a genuinely lovely person. Richard Palo looks back at the career of the man everyone knew simply as Cheggers. All right now, it's time for our little marriage. Good morning, Blackpool! He was the cheeky chappy just made for children's television. Keith Chegwin's relentlessly optimistic nature seeing him up for anything on programmes such as Saturday Superstore. It's Keith Edwin. Oh, enough of the yolks. Or enough of the yolks, that's French for egg. His co-host then, Mike Reed, says Keith treasured his audience beyond anything. Keith was someone that gave 100%. When the light went on, Keith was there. I mean, whatever problems he had, whether he was tired, whatever demons he had, he would give absolutely everything until he was knackered. He, he just did it for his audience, and he was showbiz through and through. Hey, John. He was a child actor, starring in TV series and films from the age of 10. But Lil. But it was the success of the groundbreaking Swap Shop in the 1970s that saw Chegwin catapulted into mainstream. Your, your little jumper, by the way, it's really nice, that. My little jumper? It's not a jumper, it's well, just... little thing. That wasn't what you said a few moments ago, Keith. I know, I just thought I'd be nice <laughs> to him this morning for a change. <laughs> Noel Edmonds, who presented alongside him, said today, I've lost my first real telly chum. The greatest achievement for any TV performer is for the viewers to regard you as a friend. And today, millions will be grateful for Keith's contribution to their childhood memories. And like me, they will mourn the passing of a friend. His former wife, Maggie Philbin, who he met presenting Swap Shop, described Keith as a one-off, full of life, generous, and with a focus on things that mattered, his family. In later years, he spoke candidly about his battles with alcoholism before a stint on Celebrity Big Brother endeared him to a younger audience. He died overnight from a progressive lung condition. But it was the effervescence with which he filled our screens that will forever be remembered. Our tributes there to Keith Chegwin, whose death was announced to... The TV star Keith Chegwin, better known to fans and friends as Cheggers, has died at the age of 60. He became a household name hosting shows like Multicoloured Swap Shop and Cheggers Plays Pop. In a statement, his family said Keith Chegwin had passed away after a long battle with a lung condition. Our entertainment correspondent Lisa Mazimba looks back at his career. His energy, his sheer enthusiasm, made Keith Chegwin into a household name. Welcome to our very special Christmas edition of Cheggers Plays Pop. From everybody here... Merry Christmas! A career in TV seemed somewhat inevitable. Even in his early teens, he was a natural in front of the camera, in productions like this road safety video. Gosh! Thanks. I'll be with me and they want to swap this silver disc. Just a few years later, Cheggers, as the public now called him, was sharing the screen with some of entertainment's most famous faces. How long did it actually take you to re uh, record the album? The station that we've come to have a very good look at this morning. Figures who worked with Keith Chegwin have been paying tribute. Good morning, Tony. Hello, Keith. How are you? I knew he was very unwell. In fact, I spoke to him about um, four, four weeks ago and um, he said he was recovering, you know, so I didn't expect this and this is very, very sad news. His one-time presenting partner and former wife, Maggie Philbin, said, it's incredibly sad. Keith was a one-off, full of life, generous and with a focus on things that mattered, his family. Keith was loved by everyone who knew and worked with him. His career did decline for a time and the public was shocked to discover that he was an alcoholic, something he spoke about when he appeared on Celebrity Big Brother. What I do is I sort of like uh, do all the tricks, you know, so you never buy a full bottle of whiskey because you can't hide it, so you buy two half bottles. In fact, reality TV helped give him a new outlook. He was able to regain much of the fame from his early career thanks to his honesty, his personality and his endless ability to laugh at himself. And few TV stars can claim to have had a top-selling chart hit, to have entertained and delighted millions while in their teens, 
and then to have still been doing the same for viewers decades later. <laughs>